Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Rachel and I am knitting. Not right now, but most of the time. And I'm gonna be doing something a little differently in this video and in a series of videos to come. Today is Monday, April 1st, which is also the first day of the 100 Days of Spinning Challenge. I'm going to be participating in this. It's a challenge. I don't know why I showed you this already. You don't know what it is yet, but I'm gonna tell you. Basically, the 100 Days of Spinning Challenge is a challenge hosted by Andrea Mowry of Drea Renee Knits, and it's a challenge where you spin for 15 minutes a day for 100 days in a row. And I really want to participate. This is the second time that Andrea Mowry has done a challenge like this. The first time was towards the end of 2023 so I guess it just recently finished and she's starting a new one um, but I wanted to participate in that earlier one but it didn't quite work out because uh, well here's the deal I have an EEW Nano 2 which is an e-spinner an electric spinner that I purchased after um, I got back from my Ireland trip in October of 2023 I used it for one day I wasn't miraculously uh instantly talented at it. Shocking. Um, so I didn't touch it. I haven't touched it since. I haven't worked on it since. But I'm determined to get spinning under my belt in my portfolio of skills that I have. So I'm really excited to take this opportunity to participate in a new 100 Days of Spinning challenge. Now, let me show you what this box is. This is a little box that I got for Christmas. My mother-in-law got it for me, um, and it includes a drop spindle. I have no idea if this is like considered a great drop spindle or not a great drop spindle. I don't know, but it's the drop spindle I have. So I'm gonna be working with that. And then it also comes with a bunch of fiber of different colors. So actually starting tomorrow, DJ and I are driving um, from Oregon to Baton Rouge. I mean, we won't be doing all of the driving tomorrow, but we're starting the journey tomorrow. So I will be spinning on the road. Um, but basically I'm gonna be starting with my drop spindle to kind of get the hang of drawing long draw, short draw, I don't really know. I know basically nothing about spinning, but I'm gonna be learning and taking you along for the ride. So since it's 100 days, I figured I would break it up into 10 day vlog increments. So let's get started on day one. All that to say, so much preamble. And now we're just gonna get started. Okay, here's what the box looks like. It's like a little, it's cardboard, but it looks like a cute little vintage suitcase or train box or hat box or whatever. And it comes with a drop spindle. It also comes with a little brochure of spinning instructions, but I left that at Baton Rouge. I didn't, uh, at home in Baton Rouge, I didn't bring it with me. But it comes with all these really fun colors of roving. Uh, this is from Amazon, so I'll put the uh, link to this in the video description box. Um, but I figured that I would start with these colors that don't particularly speak to me as much as like, say, this one. That is really pretty. Um, or this one, or this one, or this one. You get the idea. So I'm going to start with these colors that are not my go-to. And I'm going to try to... Uh, like get the real rough parts of the learning experience done with those colors on the drop spindle. So since I don't have the brochure that tells me what to do, I'm going to have to resort to some YouTube videos. So let's go check them out. All right, so the YouTube video that I watched for this tutorial uh, on getting to know my drop spindle is called Drop Spindle for Beginners Complete Tutorial, and it's uploaded by Jillian Eve. I'm assuming she's a full-time YouTuber. She has 60,000 subscribers, absolutely incredible. Um, but that's the video I watched. I'll link it up in the right-hand corner as a video card if you wanna check it out for yourself. Okay, I need to get what's called a leader which is basically waste yarn. Luckily, I have this bag of scraps nearby that I'm collecting to bring to Hedgehog Fibers. So I'll just find 
That will be perfect. Straight for my bag of scraps. All right, so here I'm putting the leader on. Jillian goes over this in the tutorial video and uh, you know, it was really simple, really quick. I had to adjust it so the knot was not getting in my way. And then I was spinning that spindle, man. Okay, so this vi YouTube video said that this drop spindle is for beginners. But then she just skipped straight to her fiber being ready. And I don't really know a lot about prepping fiber, but I feel like this is right. What is this called? Pre-drafting or something? Something like that. Now, okay, let me take this opportunity to say, if you're watching this and thinking, oh, Rachel, that's not how you do it. Okay, guess what? I don't know any better, so. I'm just figuring this out and like I said earlier I picked the color that I don't really care that much about if the spin isn't good so I think that's okay and we'll just continue on now with the YouTube video Okay, so now that I know a little bit about what I want to do, I'm going to pause this and I'm going to come back and set a 15 minute timer and try to do it a little bit. Okay, so there's been a bit of a plot twist. I got frustrated with the drop spindle, so I decided to pull out my e-spinner and I spun a little bit on here um i don't think it was quite 15 minutes so i'm gonna just do a little bit more and kind of show you what i'm doing and also so i can have uh this footage to look back on because maybe one day it will actually happen where i'm good at this and i'll look back and think oh so cute baby rachel spinning she thought she knew what she was doing but she was really 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 not very proficient um so let me just show you what i've been doing i think i've done it for like 10 minutes at this point so i'll do another five and that will be my 15 minutes for the day so during the actual spinning sessions i'm going to be speeding up the video because otherwise this would be a million years long but when i'm watching this back i'm really paying attention to how i am drafting the yarn and how i'm feeding it on the bobbin the bobbin whatever, just to see my progress. All right, here's where I'm leaving off for the day. Uh, there are definitely some bits that maybe are overspun. Like right here, I think definitely is overspun. Um, and then some bits, of course, that are probably underspun, but uh, I'm happy with that progress for today. Maybe tomorrow I'll be brave and try the drop spindle again, but uh, I was glad to be able to pivot. Still counts towards the 100 days of spinning. So I'll see you back here for day two, April 2nd. Hey everybody, it's April 2nd and we are in Ogden, Utah. Uh, I'm here, Darby's here, DJ's here. He's running in the hotel gym. And I have 15 minutes to get my daily spin challenge in. So let's get going. I'm just gonna pick up where I left off I've got my pile of fiber here. I'm just gonna keep it in the basket. Um, and then just get the little pieces as I'm ready to work with them. I'm gonna plug in my e-spinner and we'll get started. I got these clamps from an estate sale and they're working really well to keep my, or at least they worked well yesterday. I've only done this one day so far. We are secure. All right, let's just keep practicing. Yesterday I felt really good about my progress. So let's just keep going. Oh, 
Oh, I forgot to take this thing off. I forget what it's called. Uh, I got it on Etsy for a couple bucks. Basically it keeps the fiber from being sucked into the feeder uh, if you lose hold of it. Did I just lose my fiber? Hmm. I don't know. Let's keep going. Oh, it was still attached. Of course. Need to grab more fiber. I feel like I'm better than yesterday. I think I'm doing a good job. Okay, so it stopped going on the bobbin. And I think it got really over twisted. I don't really know the solution for that. Because I would think that the solution is to change the tension, but the tension was fine. So how does the tension go from fine to not fine? I don't know. Darby, I'll be right with you, but I have four minutes to save the world. I have four minutes of my homework left, Darby. Can you lay down, please? Lay down. I did it again. Go lay down. I'll be right with you. Lay down. Okay, so it was going really well. Let's grab a different piece of fiber. Okay, so that's going on. Okay, so I did move like the area that it's feeding onto the bobbin. Maybe the part that I had it on was just full or something. I don't know. Oh, see, now it's getting over twisted again. Okay, so let's try putting it on a new section. Hmm. Yeah, that's like making it way over twisted. What happened? It's going so well. 15 minutes is up. Let's just see if I can get it to go on the bobbin. It, so it was going back on the bobbin, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to ask the good people of Instagram what they think um, so I can go into my spinning session tomorrow ready to conquer. Um, but I'm going to actually leave this here for the night because maybe I can get my spinning done tomorrow morning. I don't know. I don't know when we're planning to leave, so it might might just be better to do it uh, tomorrow. I, I don't know. 
I'll take all... <sighs> That's a problem for future Rachel. I'm going to go take Darby outside, and I'll see you tomorrow, April 3rd, for number three, or day three of 100 Days of Spinning. Good day. All right, here we are on day three. This day, we were in Burlington, Colorado, and this wasn't the best day for me spinning wise I had a lot of roadblocks I had a lot of really uneven sections like some sections were so thick and others were way too thin that the yarn kept breaking and kept getting lost on the bobbin so this day basically was an armpit day of so, uh, spinning it wasn't great and by the end of the spinning session, I ripped out most of my progress for that day. Uh, I I don't know. I just like, I hated it. I didn't want it on there. And, and this felt like a day where I was like, I don't want to learn anything new ever. I just want to know what's in my brain now and not learn any new skills because it just ends in heartache. It ends in frustration. It's difficult. It's uncomfortable. It's not fun. I don't like it. So this was definitely not a spinning is scratching my brain kind of day this was a spinning is my ne nemesis kind of day if that makes sense hey everybody welcome to day four of the 100 days of spinning challenge today is april 4th and i'm very excited to get going on my spinning i'm thinking that i'm going to start a new batch of fiber um from this box that my mother-in-law got me just because um, I'm thinking that maybe part of my issue from yesterday is that well part of part of an issue there are probably multiple issues but I think one of the issues that I have is the way that I prepped the fiber and I'm just going to try it a different way because I was watching sometimes when I feel stuck on spinning specifically spinning with the EEW Nano 2 I go to Cesium Yarns page and I look at the reels that Kat made from Tour de Fleece last summer and I saw her prep a braid of fiber and basically she just split it in half instead of doing like the draw sections like I did on this uh, fiber so I think I'm gonna try a new approach and I'm just gonna start a new color and then I can always come back to this if I want so that's what I'm gonna be doing today so let me get this uh, set up done and then we'll get spinning today's spin was a whole different story after day three well yes and no it was similar and different i prepped the fiber differently if you look at how i'm holding it you can see that it's kind of in a braid form uh i don't know why i thought this was a good idea for spinning i know i've seen fiber braids but i think that's just how it's stored and presented kind of like how a skein is in hank form but certainly you would never want to knit directly from a hank you need to prep your yarn before you knit with it uh, and I think fiber is the same anyway so here's a view of the bobbin after a little bit of spinning there were some pigtails or corkscrews on it I still don't really know the distinction between those maybe corkscrews are when it's on the bobbin and pigtails are when it's not I don't know I'm still learning but uh, I I was disgusted by that on the bobbin so I tried to start over with a new bobbin so you can see that green neon green bobbin that I just put on I thought you know I'll start fresh and everything will be better everything will be perfect no mistakes will be made well guess what that was delusional and uh, I couldn't even get this bobbin to get yarn on to it anyway whatsoever so I abandoned that plan and uh, went back to the bobbin that disgustified me. This is just, you know, par for the course. You think that something is going to solve your problems and then turns out uh, there is no quick solution to anything. So I went back to the bobbin and here I am spinning on it. And I'll show you the end result for day four right here.
Okay, so just finished day four of the 100 days of spinning challenge and now I'm taking Darby out to the bathroom. And I'm thinking that I might increase to 30 minutes a day for the challenge, at least once we get home and we're settled because like, this is the second day in a row where I feel like I've had like ebbs and flows of success and like moments of clarity and skill building and then it all like comes tumbling down. So I think I might extend it to 30 minutes a day once we're back home. Uh, yeah, I think that would be good. But anyway, so ends day four and I'll see you back here for day five. I forgot to mention that day four was filmed at our hotel in Oklahoma and now at day five we have arrived at my in-laws house. We are at DJ's parents house. We are in the state of Louisiana. We are almost home and this spin day was pretty good but I still had repeat issues with the corkscrews slash pigtails slash uh, don't know what to call them uh, correctly. So by the end of today's spin, I made a reel on Instagram and I asked for experienced spinners to please let me know what I might be doing wrong for those things to be happening. And I got such good feedbacks in the comments and in my DMs. Uh, I don't know if feedbacks is a word. Uh, anyway, that's neither here nor there. The point is that I was immensely helped by the good people of Instagram. So even though day five's spin had a lot of the problems that I had been experiencing from prior days, the good thing or the good takeaway from day five is that I was equipped with the power of knowledge to move forward to be more successful on day six and uh, every day after. All right, now we're on day six and you can see me implementing all of the good feedback that I received from day five. Someone sent me this really, really helpful video on pre-drafting your fiber and that's what you saw me do at the beginning of this clip for day six where kind of you're pulling the fibers apart a little bit to loosen them up. Another really good tip that I got from day four was to hold my yarn or my fiber, I should say, a little looser. Um, the person who was giving me this tip said that I should hold the fiber like a newborn puppy, firm yet confident. So I'm trying to implement this. As I'm watching back day six though, I can see that uh, I have improved immensely. I'm doing this o this voiceover on Saturday, April 13th. So I have 12 days of spinning under my belt. So double what you see in this video. And I just have improved every single day. But that's a little bit of a spoiler alert because you haven't seen the vlog for days 7 through 12 yet. Anyway, the point is again that I'm improving and it's all thanks to not only practicing every day, but also asking questions of people who know what they're talking about and getting the feedback and support from this wonderful community. So I'm really, really grateful for that. And now we are at April 7th, day seven of the challenge. If you've been subscribed to me for a while, you will recognize this room, which means yes, I have arrived home into my house and my craft room. So I'm really, really happy to be home, surrounded by all my treasures and to be settled. But in this video from day seven, I am not settled yet. I have so much unpacking to do. It's really overwhelming. So I was not in a good spot when I sat down to spin. I was overstimulated, overwhelmed, so tired from driving across the entire higher continental United States, or at least that's what it felt like in a four day period of time. So uh, all this to say, you could even see it on my face. I just look grumpy. I don't look, I don't look thrilled to be here. And you know, that's just the facts. And then something that made me even less thrilled 
on day seven during my 15 minutes of spinning is when disaster struck. Uh, it has been a common occurrence throughout this spinning adventure that the yarn or the fiber, I keep wanting to call it yarn, the fiber will sometimes break and then it will get sucked into the orifice and just spin around on the bobbin and not be attached to the fiber source outside of the spinning uh, mechanism. And that's normally fine. You can find the end of the fiber on the bobbin, thread it back through the orifice and get back to spinning. But on day seven, when this happened, I could not find the end of the fiber. You can see me searching for it here. It was basically lost and uh, I ended up ripping the whole bobbin out and none of my spinning was saved or preserved from day seven. All right, time for day eight of 100 days of spinning. I really don't want to spin today. I just want to go to bed, but I don't want to lose a day of progress, so I'm going to spin. Anyway, hmm. and I'm already in trouble because this is totally off the machine, which has never happened before. Oh, no, I see where it goes. It's a quick fix. Anyway, let's get spinning. I think that today I'm going to dive into a different fiber. Um, I had been using combed merino top, but I think I'm gonna go back to the Coriadale that my friend Tina sent me. Um, so on the Irish knitting tour, Tina was like, you gotta learn to spin. You gotta learn to spin. I mean, she wasn't saying that for nothing. She was saying that because I had said, oh, I kind of want to learn to spin. And she was like, yes, you must do that. So she sent me and Leslie both a good amount of fiber to spin with. So I think I'm going to go back to using that today. Um, just because the Merino I've been having some issues with and Tina said that the Coriadale she sent me was really good to learn on and I have no reason not to believe her so I think I'm going to try the Coriadale today so let me grab it well never mind on that one because I'm still unpacking and I just have absolutely no idea where my little bag of Coriadale is. So I'm going to dip into the Merino top a bit more. Actually, instead of going with a new bundle I haven't started with, I'm going to continue with <laughs> this. All right, so let's just get into it. Spinning is wild because, like, when I first started today, just a few minutes ago, I was like, why do 15 minutes? I already know it's going to be just a garbage can of spinning. Like, why even do the full 15 minutes? And then, a few minutes later, I was like, oh, this is going to be great. This is going to be awesome. Maybe I was just overreacting. And then it just went berserk again. Like, I can't keep up. I can't keep up with this stuff. And I'm noticing too that each spinning session, well, I should say that each spinning session where something goes wrong, I'm like, man, if this one thing were different, this would be so much better. Like, if this one thing was different, tomorrow I'll be sure to have that one different thing and it will be great and everything will be fixed and solved. <sighs> and for me, that thing tonight is like I want to be spinning up that Coriadale. I feel like if I was using that different fiber, because I've gotten so many people telling me that Merino is so hard to spin, not only hard to learn on, but just hard to spin in general or difficult to spin. <sighs> so like, I just can't help but think, man, if I were just spinning with that Coriadale, I'd be doing great, but I just don't know where it is. Onward we go. I'm gonna be real with you. I'm looking at 
the time on my camera of how much has elapsed and I'm like, oh, only four and a half more minutes. You can do this. Like, I'm just not in the mood to spin right now. And maybe that means I should stop, but I'm not going to because I guess I'm stubborn. Hmm? Like, this is so bad, I don't even want it to stay on the bobbin. This is why I started with the colors that were not purple in that merino box. Because I, when I get to spin the purple, I don't want it to be such a mess like this. Like, I want it to actually be a success. <sighs> I tell you what, tomorrow I'm finding that Coriadale. That will solve everything. Probably. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. But I just feel like this is a bust. I'm just going to be done with this. This, like, this whole little thing of merino top. I'm just gonna be done with it. And I'll move on to this pink and yellow one for the last minute and a half. You know what? I'm just gonna start with this pre-drafted a little bit. I don't know if it's right. I don't, I just, I don't care right now, okay? We're just gonna start with this little bit. This seems a lot stickier. Or maybe just I'm in a better mood. No. Okay, I'm going to leave it here for tonight. Uh, you'll be shocked to know that once you slow down and take a breath, uh, things don't continue to be a catastrophe. Who knew? Um, so... I did get a little bit of successful spinning in. Um, I will say also, I watched Leslie's uh, latest podcast today that went live a few days ago. Today is April 8th, so a few days ago, maybe on the 6th, 5th or 6th it went live, or maybe yesterday, I don't know. Anyway, uh, she said that Andrea Mowry is exclusively doing long draw for the 100 Days of Spinning Challenge, and I guess now is as good a time as any to tell you, I have no idea what that means. So I just wanted to put that out there for, you know, the record of history when future Rachel watches this and is an, like an expert spinner, uh, you know, I can look back and laugh at how little I knew because I don't know what that means. You can let me know in the comments if you want. Um, but I'm going to leave it here today. I am going to find that Coriadale before I spin tomorrow because gosh darn it, I want to and that's final. Okay, so so ends day eight of the 100 days of spinning challenge. Two more days until I have my first 10 days all together in a video. <sighs> Tomorrow will be better. Yep. Hey everybody, welcome to day nine of the 100 days of spinning. I found my bag of fiber. Guess where it was? It was put away. <laughs> Amid the chaos of everything I haven't unpacked yet, like, this was put away. So that's why I couldn't find it, because it was not in the chaos. So I'm going to try with Coriadale today. I'm not sure if it's going to go well or not. We will find out together. So let's get spinning. Look at all this Coriadale. It's, it's a ton. I remember for day nine, I was feeling fairly good about the spin. Uh, as you'll see when I show you after a little bit of this spinning clip, there are definitely some uneven parts of today's spin. Some parts are thicker, some parts are thinner, but I don't have too much over spinning from day nine. So I'm really happy with today's spin. Okay, I'm going to stop it here for day nine. I think I did spin longer than 15 minutes. I'm not positive though, but I think I did. Um, I got into a really good groove and I definitely 
can appreciate Coriadale in ways that I couldn't that first day that I tried to spin um, back at the end of 2023. Like the Coriadale was so hard to work with. It was so sticky. Like I ended up using scissors to like cut off a small piece to try and work with because I didn't know anything about drafting or pre-drafting. Now that I know about that possibility and I did that, it's so much easier to work with. And I understand now I can conceptualize now and feel now what people were talking about when they said Coriadale is a stickier fiber and having a stickier fiber is easier to work with than Merino, uh, which is absolutely correct and true in my experience uh, so far. Like the Coriadale is so much grabbier than the Merino and I really, I really liked today's spin. Also, it's so interesting when I sat down to spin, I like got my feet positioned to put on pedals or treadles, treadles, mm, whatever. I But like I got my feet in position for that, even though this is an e-spinner and you don't use your feet at all. So maybe that's a sign that I need a real wheel. Um, also, I want to tell you that I named this e-spinner. I watched Leslie's podcast. Um, I don't remember if I told you this yesterday. Yesterday was just like such a train wreck. Um, but I've named my e-spinner. This is Elliot Stapler, named after Elliot Stapler from Law & Order SVU. Eel for the eel uh, nano, or the eel spinner, whatever. This is the eel whatever. Um, and then stapler instead of stabler because, you know, staple is a term used for spinning. So there you go. Me and Elliot will see you back here for day 10 and that will be the last day of this vlog installment. Hey everybody, welcome to April 10th. This is my 10th day of spinning. Um, this is going to be the final day for this first vlog installment. I don't remember if I mentioned this already or not. Um, so you know, you just have to hear it multiple times if I did. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm thinking that I'm going to try to make it a goal to spin through the rest of this Coriadale that um, Tina sent me. Um, I know that people talk on the internet about like there's frustration when um, creators don't disclose when things are sent um, for like promotion versus when things are sent as an actual gift. Um, so I try to be as good as I can about that. Uh, but this was like a gift from a friend. This is not like a promotional gift. Um, uh, my friend Tina sent this to me. She was on the Irish knitting tour. She's a spinner and, uh, yeah. So anyway, I want to knit or not knit through. I want to spin through all of this Coriadale that Tina sent me. And then after I get through this, I want to try the purple Coriadale that I purchased from the Woolery uh, towards the end of last year. Um, but I'm really getting ahead of myself. The point is, today is April 10th. Therefore, it is day 10 of the 100 Days of Spinning Challenge. I'm going to continue spinning with this Coriadale tonight. Um, and uh, let's, let's get into it. Today was another good day of spinning. I don't know if it's obvious from the earlier shot, but this was filmed at nighttime. And I kind of decided with this spin and day nine spin that I want to spin earlier in the day. I'm not really liking leaving it until the last minute before I go to bed. I wanna get it done beforehand. Some days that will be easier than others, but all in all, this was a pretty good spin day. All right, that's my timer for the 10th day. Um, I wanna show you some things before I share my final thoughts of uh, this 10 days of spinning. So um, let me get a shot of something really cool that I wanna show you that I've discovered how to do. Watch when I'm ready to join new yarn and how the fibers just kind of spin in on themselves. Isn't that so cool? I think it is so cool. All right, so officially done with 15 minutes a day for 10 days in a row. That's at least 150 minutes of spinning, which is an hour and a half. An hour and a half of spinning, right? I'm doing the math right. I don't care. 
pretty sure it's an hour and a half of spinning. Okay, obviously I meant two and a half hours. You'll see why you should not be mean about it to me. Just listen. Um, you might be watching this and think, duh, Rachel, of course, that's simple math. Listen, when you're filming yourself or recording yourself and like with the knowledge that this is going to go on the internet, like you second guess every other word you say, or at least I do. So, you know, if you ever watch this and think, wow, Rachel's stupid. Guess what? I beat you to it because I thought it first. Okay, so anyway, 10 days of spinning under my belt. Um, I feel like I have learned a lot in this first 10 days and I'll tell you that I am absolutely convinced that I need a spinning wheel. I want an electric spinner so I, I'm so happy that I have the um, EEW Nano 2. I want the full-sized one. I also want the Ashford e-spinner and I also want a treadle. Treadle. I should really figure out how you pronounce that word. Um, I I want one of those spinning wheels that you pedal with your feet and that you know you yeah I want I want it all I want to try it all I want to I don't know like I've gotten past okay this is subject to change because it probably is going to change multiple times over the course of this 100 days of spinning challenge and surely even beyond it um, but I will say for the most part I have had a lot of enjoyment in this process. I've really liked getting the hang of a new skill, of like building new muscle memory, uh, learning a new craft, a new medium. It's really fun, it's really enriching, and it's scratching my brain in the best way. So I'm really, really enjoying it. That said, there have been days that have been absolute train wrecks. And thinking back on it, like particularly day eight, um, like that was a train wreck, but I don't think it was a train wreck because of the spinning. I think it was a train wreck because of me and my attitude and the things that I brought into the spinning session. So, so I don't know, that's something to think about. Uh, as I continue on this challenge, just like I was told when I first started using my circular sock machine, someone gave me a really invaluable tip in my DMs on Instagram, which was to never crank hungry because it's just going to ruin your crank. It's going to affect things. You're going to mess up. It's going to like pile on and you, it would just feel like an insurmountable obstacle. Um, so I try not to crank hangry or hungry because then I will turn hangry and, and you know, the crank session will be a loss. So I think I need to apply that mentality to my spinning practice and make sure that, you know, you know, life isn't perfect. I don't have to sit down with like this perfect mentality, but maybe be in a better mental place when I do sit down to spin. Or at least if I'm not in a good mental place, I can acknowledge that and be like, you know, this spin is probably not going to be perfect and that's okay. And I'll still do like the spinning practice to be meditative and to be enriching and not with the expectation that it's perfect. So I think maybe that mindset shift will better serve me for days 11 through 100. So, you know, we'll see. Um, next, I suppose I should just show you a comparison between day one spin and day 10 spin. So here is day one. You can see I'm uh, guessing from uh, the video that there are a lot of odd and like thick and thin places. It's not consistent. It's kind of a, a mess. And on day 10, it's quite a bit more even. I'm, I'm so, so proud. So proud of this. So on day one, I used a combed merino top from that spindle, drop spindle spinning kit from Amazon. Um, so that was like a brown multicolored combed top. Whereas here today on day 10, I'll show you again, so consistent and beautiful. Um, it is, I don't think this is dyed. So it's just the natural color of the Corydale sheep. So there is like some uh, like gray, some brown tones, like it's a very neutral color and there's not color shifting like there was with the merino top, but the spin is so much more consistent and I think that it's just turning out really well and I will be continued 
I will continue to be set up for success, I should say. That's all that I have for this video. I'm trying to do 10 day increments of progress for the 100 days of spinning challenge. So I'm not gonna be uploading these on the 10th day. Obviously this video is not going up on April 10th. Uh, you'll see it after the fact, but I will be uploading in 10 day increments. Maybe if I get really good and I spin way more than 15 minutes a day as the challenge continues, then I will, uh, you know, have longer videos. I don't know, or shorter increments. Like maybe we'll go to five days. I don't know, who knows? I've never done this before, but I'm learning and I hope that you're enjoying the learning process. If you are an advanced spinner, thank you in advance. <laughs> For being nice to me in the comments you like if you have helpful tips please i welcome them i covet them please leave them in the comments um and, but if you're like me or like uh, me 10 days ago whether you're just learning to spin or you've never like been successful at spinning or never even tried spinning i hope that this series is helpful and enjoyable for you if that's something you do want to look into in the future so that's all for this video. Uh, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you don't already, and hit that notification bell to be notified of my next upload. Last but not least, head over to Instagram and follow me over at Rachel is Knitting if you don't already. And I will see you for the next installment of my 100 Days of Spinning journey. Thanks for watching. Bye.